All right, so <laughs> this is after 72 hours of the court. Don't order the DSS to make the release of the canon. After the judgment, don't pass. They don't order you guys to make you release the man. And 72 hours after over 72 hours, it's still in detention. Uh, I say, uh, Malami thought they want consult. They need to talk to some people, talk to uh, ministers, talk to Hebo, Hebo Elite, uh, talk to House of Representatives to release a man. We will say, courts don't order to make you release. And I just wonder that what kind of country is this? What exactly is wrong with this country? What, what in the world is going on? What is wrong with us for this country? We have a government, we have people where we say they think say they don't grow past the law. They know they obey the, the, the rule of law at all. Because they know say if they disobey, there's no consequence. And I was hoping, I'm hoping that the, the court can make just make a scapegoat of one of these people. That the court can just do something. I would I, I don't understand. The court sort say no case. Even if you want fight for another thing, that case will be the court order first. You allow some of us, we don't rejoice, we don't happy, we don't rejoice, we don't dance for Thursday. Last Thursday, say, man, don't free. Now, you won't come full sort for a guy. And I lie, you people, they lie. Courts don't release them. I mean, I release them. Obey the court's law, obey the rule of law. Because uh, I will tell you that they expect before when they heard, no, they will be. They heard, no, they hear, no, they will be the rule of law. How the body go, even do one. And we're not surprised. I was not surprised at all. I knew this will happen. I know, I know, because now normal way, now the way we in the be that. Now DSS will be that now. And I can't imagine that waiting that they gain safe. Now waiting that they gain, you get the, you they get paid. Yeah, now are they paying you? Are you getting paid to hold him? Or you know, just no one miss the man. You so much like him, we say you just want to keep him for your side. The man get family. Some of us they wait. Make it come out. At least make him talk to his people. So what we, I, I don't understand, man. I don't understand which kind, which kind of government, which kind of kind of DSS with this. Then you go talk to one governor, you want to talk to one. There's a waiting concern. I mean, as of representative governor with waiting courts done, or does he make you do it? Ah, man, I'm tired for this one. Now when they tell me, us tell you people, another election to come, if you not fumble, not for your head, though. If you have, if you fumble now for your head, you don't make the same mistake where you guys made last time, the last election, 2019. You, you make that mistake, 2015, where we say, hey, we know, say, hey, that mistake will come so easily. This is another one coming, 2023. If you come easily too, because people are, they, they want a change or again, another change. And I hope, say, the change the way we want this time around, go we'll change the change way we get before. Because the kind of change we get before change so many things. For bad, change so many things for bad. Now this kind of change where people they run after now. I hope say that change go be waiting go save Nigeria. Now you make us say make now nah, don't just they run around the shout to be there to be there to get your PVC make your PVC speak for you that day. Will be there no go speak for you now. You PVC you know you your PVC they're ready to vote now. Waiting be the cocoa with that now. Waiting to go get your obedience into that office with that all. At least, what we are saying is, at least we need the government whereby the, the rule of all law is being obeyed. The system is unique. The system, there will be a system in place whereby yeah, people won't have to travel everywhere because they need the medical attention. At school, our, our children, they won't have to stay home because uh, so, so they can't pay teachers and they have to go on strike. The system will be in place to make sure that every single person it's been treated. We treat every single person equal. The system will be in place whereby people, people, people are eager. They want to do something because they know there's resources, there's electricity that will ginger people to go out there and say they want to start a business and they won't lose money because there's no electricity because they don't have money to keep buying uh, petrol and all that. You need the government will be will will hard will be saying now insecurity will they reduce people go. Abandon nonsense where they do, they kidnap people around as if not job be that. Now, some people's job when they, they, they use it to die, but they go abandon her. Get a real job, which go hard, which will, will go. Will, ah. Imagine someone will be say, Don't they get 50k, 100k, 1 million naira? 
for just kidnapping and taking one person. We now consist us in you put one system in place, we could repeat them 30, 30,000. But I hope these things, all these things will change. And I hope Nigeria will survive this. This is another time for election. Make Nigeria we call for the DSS release in Ambitano. We want to hear his voice. Many of us don't rejoice. Many of us, we don't have peace. Say you don't, the courts don't release them. At least make the people wish to keep up. Make them not turn deaf here. But you too, you too, you too like the surprise people. Even though you don't get any surprise for her. And be like, say you, they surprise us again. No, you surprise us. You know, which you feel do. We know your ways. Release the man. There's no, no case. No case. No case now. <laughs> don't mind me, guys. I, I'm just, uh, uh, it, it just got me thinking. I just think we should, we need to get out of all this nonsense that we face through our leaders and all that. We need to get out of this. And uh, Nigeria deserves, Nigerians deserve the best of the best. And I hope that 2023 will start giving Nigerians the best hey, for the people that believe in Biafra. Yeah, continue to do your thing. Uh, and the will of God go stand. Now the will of God go stand. Now anything we God want. Start now. We say, I'm here to tell people that if God wanted to be, it will be, it will be, Biafra will be, your vanisher will be. Now, we think God won't be that. Keep doing what you're doing. God bless you all. God bless Biafra. God bless uh, uh, your nations. God bless uh, Arewa. God bless Nigeria. And God bless you all. All right, thank you.